ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we have some Radeon 7 leaks. So this comes from WCCF Tech, and it writes, Two weeks ago, AMD launched its 7 nanometer based Radeon 7, the Navi 20 for the gamer. And today we have the first authentic performance leak of the same card, courtesy of Tum Episec. <laughs> and if you click on that link, it takes you to a, a tweet showing some numbers. The source in question is extremely reliable, and the only caveat with these numbers is going to be the driver version used, which might not be final. So expect these numbers to be slightly under what you can expect in the final product. So if you do not know, the Radeon 7 is coming with the 7 nanometer Vega 20 GPU with 60 compute units, 3840 stream processors, 64 raster operators, 240 texture mapping units or TMUs and a peak clock speed of 1800 megahertz. It's also coming with a whopping 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory on a 4096-bit bus. So the numbers uh, look good. Now there's been sort of a little bit of conflict because there's been two sort of different numbers coming out, but I'll tell you why I think these ones are the more legit ones. So let's go to the benchmark. So for this, I benchmarked it against these leaked numbers against my RTX 2080. So I assume that AMD was using a 2700X CPU. I'm using the 9900K, uh, but I think this should still stand because it's the GPU only sections that we're looking at. So we'll start with Time Spy. And you can see that the Radeon 7 doesn't do too good. So this is a DirectX 12 benchmark. Yeah, and it's struggling a little bit there. But let's move over and talk about the fire strike numbers. So first of all, at 1080p, you can see that it's doing a really good job. It's actually beating the RTX 2080. Remember, this is the Asus Dual model. So this is pretty good. And then we go up to 1440p. Yeah, that's still very solid. Very good numbers there, beating the uh, RTX 2080. And then when we go up to 4K, you see it still comes out on top. This is par for the course. Usually the AMD cards tend to do better as you go up through the resolutions. So what do we make of those numbers then? Well, first of all, there were numbers out there saying that uh, it was 19,000 around that for the fire strike numbers. First of all, I think that's wrong because that would put it about the same as an RTX 2060 and it would actually put it below the Vega 56. So judging by the specs the Radeon 7 has, that makes no sense at all. So those numbers are wrong. These numbers, I feel, are very legitimate. AMD had also already showed, I should say, that the uh, Radeon 7 would be matching the RTX 2080, beating it in some benchmarks. Uh, so this would make sense, given that that's what AMD's claim is, that it's more or less matching the 2080. My Asus Dual model is a decent model of... Uh, 2080 that's for sure it's definitely not the most basic model but it is within a Zeus's lineup more or less so if you got maybe a Strix model or one of the more premium models of 2080 I would imagine uh, with higher clock speeds out of the box I would imagine it would probably be matching the Radeon 7 but as far as we know this is just the obviously the reference model and of course we don't know which drivers these are on so this is very promising from AMD these numbers are fully legit. This is very promising. That means it's going to be matching, as they claim, the RTX 2080. Remember, this card's going to be coming in at $699. So I'm quite impressed by this. These are the numbers that I think make sense. The other numbers that have been reported just seem a bit too low, at least the 1080p ones. So this is what I think is sort of legit. And yeah, compared to my 2080, this is looking pretty good. Again, I think a lot of people may find the Radeon 7 is a bit high in terms of the price, but honestly, if this is what it's the numbers it's putting up uh, and its main competition is going to be the 2080, then, you know, I feel like it's fair game. AMD's probably priced it accordingly. I mean, these companies know what they're doing. They don't just throw prices out there willy-nilly. They do a lot of research first to make sure it's going to be good. But I'm going to throw it to you guys. What do you think? What do you think of these numbers? Do you believe them? 
What do you make of the Radeon 7? I'd like to know in the comment section down below. Now I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.